I feel like whatever happened, it was for your safety. Because you're you being divinely guided. Um, you could have been being divinely guided away from this connection. There could have been something going on with this person that you didn't know. But with obsession, soulmate, and regret. So whoever this soulmate is, they in regret. They in regret for the way they treated you. I feel like this person constantly, constantly thinks about how they mistreated you, how they mishandled you. I'm getting this is an energy of maybe this could be you as well. Somebody didn't see things going as far as it did. Okay. Something been going on for a while with you and this person. We have finances and friendship, new love and longing. It's giving me somebody wants a new beginning with you. Whoever this person is, you know, um, thinks about you a lot, obsessively, um, who's yearning for you. This person could feel like they don't have something to offer you when it comes to their finances. Fate and apology. This could have been like a beautiful connection, a very divine connection. I feel like this person mishandled you. This could be somebody who's very egotistical, very prideful. Instead of telling you the truth of what it really was, this person could be someone who rejects you, you know, in and out your life. But Spirit is saying with the faith and apology, okay, you're destined to receive some type of apology from this person, okay? Spirit is not letting up on this person. This person owes you an apology. And that's why they keep thinking about you. That's why they have so much regret. Because, and my nose itching. You know, let's be honest. Ain't nobody out here regretting a damn thing that they don't feel bad that, you know, for something that they did to someone, Okay? People out here saying all the time, I, I, you know, I live my life, I don't have no regrets. Whatever happened, happened. I don't got no regrets. Somebody to be in a regret energy, they know that they, they mishandle someone. Rejection. This rejection is actually divine protection, chemistry, strictly sexual support. Yeah. It's giving me, <laughs> you know, opportunist, you know, someone, um, and it doesn't just have to be money. It could be your energy, your time. Someone could have been stealing from you. Okay. This person is stressed out because somebody is in regret. They could be possibly under judgment, receiving bad karma for what they did to you. Somebody also could have Somebody could have known that they was dealing with bad karma. Somebody could have tried to like be in your energy or be around you for some type of protection. Torn flame under the bottom. Addiction. Spiritual lesson is soulmate. Whoever this twin flame is, soulmate, twin flame or soulmate, they going through a spiritual lesson from some type of addiction that they had. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they in regret finances. Uh, the person's going to be losing a lot, okay? Somebody was addicted to doing something um, a certain way, you know, and it affected this relationship. Whatever the spiritual lesson is, it's showing up to somebody, our mailbox or door. Could be some type of legal issues. Mm. Something about your intuition. Let's move on, so I see. So whoever this twin flame is, soulmate of yours, um, whatever addiction that they had, this person is learning the spiritual lesson. Queen of Swords, that's the truth. 
I'm also picking up because of this person that they should they could have caused the cycle to be delayed or uh, for something that could have came to an end with you and this person. But it's really saying it was for your protection. Okay? It was definitely for your protection. Something about this person, they were, they were hiding from you. Give me more of this energy. Over here. Okay. Chosen. I feel like you've been through a lot with this person. Your soulmate or this twin flame. I feel like you tried to help this person. I'm here and put them on. Take that or resonate. Astral travel. You have the ability to separate your astral body from your physical self and travel to different dimensions, realms, in connection with past over loved ones through meditation or dreams. So you guys, um, you know, um, <laughs> You don't have the ability to give to, you know, to astral travel to, you know, different dim dimensions and uh, realms. A lot of you guys, could, um, you know, meditate, you know, when you're going to sleep. Whoever you are, you're a light worker. You're somebody with an old soul. Um, a lot of sensitivity. Very uh, spiritual as well. Um, a lot of you guys, you're calling this to be a psychic. Um, you're someone who's a healer, a teacher. Um, for others of you guys, you just could be an elementary school teacher, a high school school teacher, a college, um, you know, professor. But you're you're a teacher to many. You know, you guys could be healers in your community, to your family, to your friends. You know, everybody comes to you for support, for advice. You just make things easier. And we have empire. So whoever this energy is, twin flame or soulmate, this is somebody who you're supposed to be creating a legacy with. Okay? Light worker with astral travel. I feel like um, whoever this twin flame or soulmate is, they can be trying to astral travel to you to communicate with you telepathically um, through your dream state. It's like you have the ability... Um, Whoever I'm picking up on, if this person is, if, is, is thinking something about you, right? And they constantly thinking something about you. You can literally go to sleep, right? And you could like, you have that gift to like, um, how can I say it? Um, it's like what they can't say in a 3D. You have that gift to where in a 5D, you can travel, okay? To a certain ram. And you and this person could be like, could be able to kick it or you could just be able to know how this person actually feel about you you have that ability so what they can't tell you in a 3d you already know because of the 5d i feel like somebody took advantage of you um i feel like somebody tried to friend zone you I feel like somebody, um, it's something about you, you know, you being this light worker. Uh, I picked up on light worker la uh, um, last night as well. You guys came out as light worker. Somebody is a light worker. They, you know, you, you just have this strong light about you. Um, you bring light wherever you go. It, it, it just, it's, you just radiate. It just <laughs> can't help but not notice you. You're just so light. Someone, um, I feel like someone trying to come and towards you, um, manifest you, but they, whoever this person that manifested you, they weren't, they wasn't ready. They still had addictions. Yeah. And this could be, your, you know, your divine spouse. Taurus, lovers, third eye, and opportunists. Queen of Swords, Capricorn, Gemini, Akashi Records, Aquarius. So with this lovers, somebody was definitely an opportunist. I feel like you could have realized that, you know, your higher self could have told you that through your um through your intuition, you could have received um, clarity. 
You could be a Taurus, you could be a Capricorn, Gemini, or Aquarius, or be dealing with these signs, or Scorpio, Scorpio Tower options. I feel like somebody hurt you. Somebody did something, and that's why there ain't so much regret. Divine Union and Ace of Cups, damn. But you have, you have, um, there's new love here. And there's a new relationship or a celebration of love when it comes to romance and new beginning. Power couple energy. For some of you guys, you could be actually finally meeting your twin flame. For others of you guys, you could be going in connection with a soulmate. You know, take it how it resonates. You guys know, you know, you know, put yourself where you, um, you know, where you belong right here. For some of you guys, this could have been a twin flame that did this to you and they'd be replaced with a soulmate. Others of you guys, you could be actually finally meeting your actually twin flame. Sacral and soul tribe. Yeah, energy vampire. Somebody tried to connect with you, okay? Um, I feel like this person tried to connect connect to you and, and use some type of like, um, I mean, like verbal um, manipulation, like emotional manipulation. Mm -hmm. Somebody tried to like, trying to marry your energy where you guys like say, somebody wanted to say, oh yeah, we got the same beliefs. Um, I understand you. I support you. Um, oh, I'm, you're spiritual. I'm spiritual. Oh, you tradition. Um, you you um you religious. I'm religious. Like somebody, mm -mm, somebody was an energy vampire, soulmate, root and karmic partner, solitude. Yeah, Pluto. Yeah, divine feminine. I, <laughs> divine feminine, Pluto, solitude. Yeah, like you had to like definitely had an ending. There was a death and rebirth here for you. Divine Feminine, okay? I feel like you pulled your energy back. You went into, you know, hermit, into solitude, <clears throat> connected with nature. You know, um, whatever this renewing, this change, this transformation is, it's going to make you the rising phoenix, okay? Yeah. Divine Feminine, spiritual gifts, ace of swords. You see, you speaking some type of truth. Somebody... Somebody could have watched you and studied you and this person could be admiring you and it's your energy. It's your energy. It's like with the solitude, Pluto, divine feminine, spiritual gift, ace of swords, you, you gracefully removed yourself. You gracefully removed yourself. You knew somebody's intentions was not pure. You knew something was one-sided. You listened to your intuition. Okay, that somebody was only after you for one thing. Somebody wanted what you had. Male or female. Somebody seeing you grounded. This was a karmic. Somebody realizing that somebody was a karmic. Side piece, Aries, crown chakra. Something about your intuition. Mm -mm. Somebody... <laughs> Somebody was trying to friend zone somebody who, who, was, who was a light worker. Okay? Someone who's spiritually gifted. Not only that, you know, somebody is chosen. And no, they're not walking around, you know, uh, telling people that they're chosen, but their energy is very rare. Very beautiful. You know? Somebody seen that. Yeah. Somebody, yeah, manipulative. Energy vampire. It's giving me somebody was putting a blockage in somebody's way, you know, because they knew something great was coming in for them. Mm. I feel like somebody is just... <sighs> somebody needs to heal. Some type of trauma. Yeah. Queen of Swords were opportunists. Queen of Swords, floodgates, new love. 
you know, whoever you are, Sun Seed, you definitely got the truth now, okay? You got the truth. You're very emotionally intelligent. You're very smart. You're very protective, okay? Um, whoever this person is that thought they was clever, you was already 10 steps ahead of them. Floodgates, okay? There's some type of new beginning, okay? Um... When it comes to abundance, abundance in your love life, you know you you know you having a peace of mind, um, not going without, being protected, being loved, being looked after, you know in a good way. Not people that trying to cling on you for your energy. Because you know, let's be honest. You know, when you when you a healer like this, you know, a healer healers need like bodyguards, like, and you guys have that in the spiritual realm. You do, but you may not feel like you have that in the three D. But you gotta remember, you're not even from here. Like, you just here having human experiences on you know on assignment on a mission, just doing what you called to do. You know, to help the collective. You know, people around you. But you're not even from here. I just, I feel like you guys, light workers, people that are healers, you know, good hearts. Um, I feel like you guys need a lot of protection. And this person who's who's coming in or who's, you know, who's here in Pioneer with Divine Union, there's something that's about to be built on a solid foundation, okay? I'm getting boss diva vibes. You know, something who's going, something that's gonna be a fulfillment, something that's gonna be a lifetime, a power couple, thank you spirit, who's gonna make a major impact. But with the Queen of Swords, Floodgates and New Love, I feel like you're standing your ground towards one energy. So you can have two people in your energy. It could be a twin flame, because we did see the lovers, it could be a twin flame or soul me. Somebody you standing your goddamn ground to because you're being guided and led to, okay? To be open to whoever this new love is. Yeah, again, I didn't even see a healer. Poverty, opportunist, goddamn karmic storm. Somebody wanted a healer to be in poverty to feel left out, okay? How the hell you gonna think you gonna try to break a healer? They the ones who heal everybody. How the heck you think they're not going to be able to heal, heal themselves? Is this giving me unnecessary, unnecessary chaos, um, unnecessary conflict, unnecessary confusion, unnecessary drama? Yeah. I feel like you've been too strong for too long. You've you always been strong. You could have waited for this person to like either get right, do right, Maybe you gave this person a second chance, but somebody's intentions was not real right. Karmic storm, opportuni opportunist, and poverty. Yeah, that's why this person is obsessing over you. This is why they're in regret, because they're going through this karma. Because they tried to play, somebody tries to use you. For a lot of you guys, it was for your energy. It was for your finances. Somebody wanted this life that this healer had, but then it ain't put in no goddamn work to even sit next to you. This person ain't even, they're not even, you know how you go and fill out the application and it, you got to do the little checkoffs or whatever, whatever. And, you know, either you're overly qualified, you're not qualified, um, or you just need some more experiments, you know, whatever. This person, they came back and whoever the person is, when they called this person or or when they emailed this person, they said, you, you, you're not qualified to sit next to this person. You're not even qualified to sit next to this person. And whoever this person is, I feel like they knew that. But they came in trying to manipulate, trying to think that they could get over on a light worker. Like if you wouldn't find out, you know, what their true intentions was. Going to other dimensions and other realms, that's like, that's like a, you know, your playground. When you go, when you, when you rest your eyes and go to sleep, you'll be everywhere. You'll be everywhere. That's why I don't understand. People, you got to be careful. Maybe this person slept on your gifts. Maybe they thought that you don't know. 
I'm getting high priestess energy here. You get them a little bit. And majority of the time, you probably play stupid like you don't even know. The whole time, you already know what they thinking and what they feeling. Anyway, yeah. I feel like anybody that ever loved you or cared about you, they are now feeling some type of way. They, a lot of people are wishing that they didn't play with you. Yeah, solid to a healer. You pulled your energy back. A lot of people are feeling some type of way. 3D with throat chakra. That's what I'm saying. Whatever they can't, whatever they wasn't saying when it came to the 3D, you damn sure. Yeah, look. Ace of Earth watching and Guardian Angel. Listen, your Guardian Angel was watching, putting you on. You know. You know. There's a lot of abundance here. Somebody's ships is definitely coming in. I feel like this person stalked you and watched you, watched you on social media. Yeah, communication, black magic. So, whoever this person was wishing ill intent on you, envy on you, this is somebody who, um, who they was chatting, they were speaking. Somebody was was wishing ill. They were speaking. They was they just come in gossiping to other people. Or this is somebody who just chatting on your name, wishing bad happen to you. You know, out of hate and jealousy, wishing harm, wishing things don't go your way. Yeah, somebody is in regret about that. And whoever this person is, they look very well experienced. Your light irritated this person demons. This could be something. Maybe this was something that this person was learned. Maybe this person gonna have a whole tribe of family that does this. I feel like you got away from this person. Akashi records, Ace of Fire, Neptune. Yeah, you have access to your Akashi records. Your psychic abilities is on 100. Somebody knows that you're about to get this new beginning, this new passion beginning. You can expect this good news. Mm hmm. Solar plexus chakra. An energy vampire. Look at this. Somebody wanted to mess with your self esteem. Somebody wanted you to believe in them. Like, if they was... Somebody wanted you to believe that they were for your best. And they weren't. Yeah, heart. Somebody knew. This is somebody... I feel like you have unconditional love for. Who you was compassionate towards. You know... Somebody took advantage of you and now they want your forgiveness. Mercury and Scorpio. Somebody could have Scorpio and Mercury. Or somebody could be a Gemini or a Virgo. But I feel like whoever this person is <clears throat> with the Mercury and Scorpio, this person wants to communicate with you. I feel like you determined to persevere and not let nobody bring you down, let nobody stand in your way. Okay. You could be finding out it was something that you needed to work on within yourself. Okay, to so, you know, you know, finding out, you know, what what attracted you to this energy? How was this energy able to creep in, you know? Yeah. You know, realizing something, yeah. Look at this, Scorpio and Black Magic. Oh, my fault, about to die. Yeah, something is about to, yeah. Something is dying, something is over with. Scorpio and Black Magic, Ace of Earth, Soul Tribe. Mm-hmm. Look at this. Some type of abundance and stability. Some, a solid offer is coming in for you that you're going to be being able to celebrate, Okay. Whoever this person is, you guys are like-minded. 
guys are going to work together. You guys are going to build a legacy. Akashi Records, okay. Breaking generational curses. Mm-hmm. It's giving me like team up, work with, work, you know, um, work together. Somebody just was throwing their shadow side. Pisces, Cancer, Sun. They could be a Pisces, Cancer, Sun. Whoever this keeps seeing solitude will get it. Somebody just focusing on themselves right now. Mm -hmm. They are. Somebody wanted to confuse somebody about you or make somebody didn't, you know, um, they didn't want somebody to choose you or it could have been some, this person could have gave in to the God. Um, we see communication in black magic. Somebody could have literally, you know, listened to some type of gossip about you. Oh, wow. Yeah, somebody is jealous as heck. This is a title card, but somebody is jealous. Because you relocate, it might be time to move, or you have moved. It says jealous. The hate is real bad. Fuck them. Self care. Somebody cannot stand how you how you take care of yourself, how you love on yourself. How you're able to have a new beginning. How you're able to have the discipline and the obedience to move. Every time your divine, every time your spirit guides divine God tell you to move, you move. Okay? Cleanse. Yeah, cleanse. Manifest vacation. Abundance. I'm telling you, you when your when your when they tell you to move, you move. Somebody is somewhere dealing with tough times. And seeing you living a life that they want, but they want to put in no work. And somebody tried to, um, if you're lying and you're manipulating someone, okay, to see things your way, when you know your intentions is not perfect for them, that is black magic. And I feel like that's what this person did. Something could have been going on for months with their family or your family, take it how it resonates, or a third party. Could have definitely, yeah. A third party, others involved, three way, threesomes, and communication. It's like a bunch, a bunch of people conversating about this connection. Yeah, somebody is delusional. Ooh. Ooh. What's this actual child, Holy Spirit? Somebody is wishing that, that they would have trusted you. What's this actual travel? Thank you. Relocate. I feel like um, with this actual um, travel being clarified, relocate. This is... Uh, this is you traveling to other dimensions and, and realms. I feel like this person was trying to in, um, also invade in your, um, you know, come into your space, your energy. Okay. And they immediately got exposed. You found out what they was up to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're fucking lying. They watching. Okay. This could be somebody who, you could be pregnant. This person could have got a third party pregnant. And now somebody over there feeling guilty because they seen that you was trustworthy. There's somebody who kept secrets from you. Somebody could be feeling like they could be in spiritual jail. This person could have found out that. Oh. If you move doing a new love, somebody is all in your business, okay? I don't, this per this is the type of energy I'm picking up on. It's like, you could say you moved on to this person, you, they don't, they, you still theirs.
This person is learning a, a, a lesson for whatever addiction that they had, whether it was a sexual addiction, some type of substance addiction, addiction, whatever they did too much of, that's who they are, spirit is saying. And that 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 caused some type of problems in the connection that they had to learn a lesson from. This could have been somebody who who never want to put in work, always want to come after people who they feel like is doing well or have good jobs or very stable, very solid. That is spell work. Knowing you go into that person because of what you see that you can gain, not because you're saying, you know what, I actually want to get to know this person. You know, um, I want to, you know, go closer to this person. I'm interested. You know, I want to see what they're about. You know, I actually like them. Like, your intentions is like, that's good intentions. Somebody in intentions be been doing something for a long time and it'd be off. Yeah, <laughs> protection. Somebody could be feeling like they need protection from a third party now. What's the light worker, Holy Spirit? Light worker. Light worker. Light worker, Holy Spirit. Guilty. It says guilty, shame, lies. They did that shit. Shame, lies, they did that shit. That's why they feel guilty. Because like I told you earlier, ain't nobody just going around regretting nothing. If somebody regretting something because they know they done messed up big time. And they could have possibly got somebody pregnant. Possibly could have hooked up with a third party. Chose somebody else over you. And that person doing a, 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 a number, a marathon on their ass, I'm hearing. Okay? Full of secrets and lies. Yeah, jealous. Breakup. I'm telling you. Somebody could have been spreading a lot of, you know, lies about you because they were jealous. I feel like it's like for who I'm picking up, you just light worker, you so focused on your being happy. You know, mentally, spiritually, physically. I feel like you asked for a sign or a download from the divine and they showed it to you. And you seen something that this person didn't want you to see and you moved away. Secrets and jealous. Somebody is secretly jealous of you. Spirit said yes. Yeah, this person was toxic as hell and they feel guilty about it. Yeah. This person could be having financial issues because they, 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 whatever energy they put out, whatever energy that they was projected towards you, that's what they got back. Okay? I feel like when you guys decided to go another way, yeah, danger and black magic. This shit is crazy. Confirmation. Self-care. Yeah. But it's like the more you take care of yourself, mm -mm, it's not going to happen. Yeah, I just see hell no danger. Like, it's not going down. Somebody want to attack you because all you want to do is just be happy, mind your business, and, 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 and attend to your assignment. And because somebody going through something after some type of breakup, this is the energy is like, they want to attack. Mm. What's this breakup? It's been blessing since. <laughs> Just this breakup spirit is saying. What's this breakup? Somebody don't want you to be happy without them. Spirits in abundance. I cannot make it up. Spirits around you. Now, spiritual activity or contact. Abundance. Money, 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 and more money. Get that money, boo. <laughs> yes. So whoever this person is, Light work was clarified with guilty and break up. Whoever this person that you broke free from, they don't like the fact that you've been having level up after level up. Somebody doesn't like how connected you are to spirit, to source. Somebody is wishing that you weren't this light worker. Somebody is wishing that you didn't have these gifts. Somebody is wishing that you didn't do what you do, know what you know. Somebody is used to getting over on people. And they used to getting away with it. But somebody came for somebody who's a light worker, somebody who's very, very special. Okay, and now you are you brought this person karma on a, on a platter. Look at the back of these cards. Confirmation, but I think she's at her altar. 
But um, you brought the you you walk in karma. You brought this person karma. This person could have been doing this for you know years, decades. But somebody came up against like it's giving me an energy of spirit brought you this person life to bring it behind karma. Somebody does not like the fact that how 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 um spiritually abundant you are. When it comes to your gifts, your, you know, your, your inner knowing, you don't have to worry about anything. This person feels like they got everything to worry about. They, somebody is jealous. They could have been trying to tap into your Kashi records, but that is still only you have access to that. Manifest, finances, abusive, level up. <laughs> Somebody who was abusive and got all these responsibilities. Okay, see, you manifest the life that you want. Okay. And they feel some type of way. Yeah, because you made your next move your best move. You don't trust this person. Play chess, not checkers. Make your next move. Make your next move your best move. Do not get played. Magic. Use your magic. Use your magic. Get creative. Magic is within. Yeah. Somebody is regret wasting your time, okay? And trying to figure out how can I come in and make it right. They, this person is obsessively thinking about you a lot. Look at this, you're watching. This person is watching you. Mm -hmm. Person lie heard a lot. What's the empire? Empire. I feel like you gave this person your time, your love. You were genuine. Ooh. Give me a card on empire. Who's there? Empire. Empire. Thank you. Look deeply. Take a very good look at the situation. There is more you should know. Read between the lines. I feel like there's an energy here. Okay. Um, Spirit is saying this could be somebody who you, who, who, um, who you decided to build with. Um, read between the lines. There's more you need to know about this situation. But I don't feel like whoever this person is that's here that you're going to build this divine union with, I don't feel like they're going to waste your time with this celebration being here. Spirit like, nah, hell nah. Y'all going to be spending quality time. You got two people in your energy, son. Somebody who's not going to waste your time and somebody who was talking to this fuck that's going through lessons right now. What's this empire look deep? Look um, deeply. You got something new coming in. Yeah, choices. You're going to have the spirit. So you're going to have a lot of choices. Okay. For some of you guys, you could be choosing, deciding to work with, you know, work with yourself with that solitude we seen earlier. Take it how it resonates. What's this empire look deeply, Holy Spirit? Responsibility. Time to get to your shit together. Don't. Time to get your shit together. Don't slip up. So this person can be, this could be somebody working on getting their shit together, okay, before they come to you. Maybe this person wants to match your energy. Yeah, I cannot make it up. Finances. Yeah. Protection of ancestors and lovers. Wow. Happiness. Look at this. I'm telling you something. You got two people in your energy. One of the, you got two lovers. Okay, somebody whoever you whoever you are, you know you got choices, okay? Ancestors, protection, lovers, and happiness. Okay? Is is the energy your ancestors is protecting you from like, oh hell no. Okay. 
protection, ancestors. Your ancestors is calling for you to protect yourself from a certain energy when it comes to whoever this lover is. Okay? Whatever this romance is, sex affair, dating, flirting, whatever it was that you guys were doing, okay? It's somebody that you need to protect yourself from and it's somebody that you're going to be very happy with. Happiness. Happiness, joy, love, comfort, re relaxation, and prosperity. That's that divine union. Yeah. It's giving me like a narcissist that just needs your energy and, and, and you're not giving this abusive person none of it. Okay? And and this this person needs your energy to, you know, to fill them up. And you're not giving them any of that. I keep seeing children. This could be somebody's, uh, the parent of their child. Somebody could be in competition with you. Um, what's the Divine Union, Holy Spirit? Divine Union. Divine Union. Yeah. Somebody's going through... God damn you. Let it go. Release time to move on. Better things to come. Yeah. Somebody is... Yeah. Somebody is moving in silence. Close your mouth. Keep it quiet. A year... A year may happen in a year. Okay, quality time. Someone is feeling neglected. Okay, somebody is missing your quality time. Cleanse and pregnant. Somebody could be finding out that you're pregnant, or somebody could. Um. Somebody could have gotten pregnant. Somebody could have gotten an abortion. Something about intuition, intuition, blessings, jail, family. Whoever. That's why I said whoever these people is that. That treated you bad, you know, made you feel some type of way. Okay. Because you're very different. They're now facing judgment. Family in jail. Blessings and intuition. Mm. I feel like you had a lot of people that was trying to, you know... Um, play a part in blocking a union. You know, you got a lot of people here. But somebody definitely, there was a definitely a karmic partner that was a third party that was trying to play. Okay. I heard for, for weeks somebody been trying to play in somebody's energy that's in alignment. Ooh. Somebody feel guilty for treating you a certain way. Somebody is wishing that they would have either married you, gave you a, the commitment that you deserve. Anything else, Holy Spirit, before I hit the tarot? Relocate. So, Spirit is saying somebody need to move. It's time to move, okay? Yeah. Somebody baby mama, okay. Somebody baby mama, parent or they child. Somebody is delusional. Somebody is trying to like freak somebody, mess somebody happiness up. Protection, spirits, um, celebration, confirmation, months, danger, intuition, blessing. Somebody could have been trying to attack somebody's crown chakra. They intuition, they, yeah. Spirits that you already know the answers you seek. With this person that you share chemistry with. Yeah. Take things slow because this person ain't, um, yeah. Maybe you guys were taking things slow at one time. Okay, because the time it wasn't quite right because there was a third party, even though you guys shared a lot of, um, chemistry. Okay. I feel like whoever this person is, you had to set up, yeah, found firm boundaries because there was an interference. Look, interference in children. I'm telling you, I know what I'm feeling. Somebody parent of their child, okay? Whoever this person is that you set boundaries up with, now they want your forgiveness. Maybe this person didn't have no boundaries with this the parent of their of they child. They let them do whatever, get in the middle of their connections, this somebody that always just give, give, give. Like, they don't, like, 
they will give more than what they needed, needed to give. This somebody was dealing with a third party, like somebody parent of their child is just like real. They don't even care if they got enough to live. They don't care if they're happy. They don't care any any of that. They want somebody to feel some type of way. Confirmation. Yeah. <clears throat> they <clears throat> excuse me. Somebody know that this person is passionate about you. They know that there's something special between you guys. Um, and they just somebody just want to have this person at crossroads. Okay. Yeah, with the solitude in the child crossroads, somebody wants somebody to feel like they're not um, good enough, you know, insecure. Maybe this they probably know about some type of abandonment issue that this person has. Um some type of trauma they experience. And it could make this person, it, it could make it um, hard when it comes to this person making choices or trusting the people. <sighs> this person be feeling stuck. Lovers. Okay, yeah, lovers, divine masculine, and Scorpio. I cannot make it up. This person loves you. They do. Um... But this person, um, with Queen of Fire, you turn Ace of Cups. Mm. Queen of Fire, you turn Ace of Cups. Somebody, somebody wants you to make a, yeah, whoever this person, they want you to come back. They want this relationship with you. They want to celebrate with you. They, this person loves you. Whoever, yeah, your soulmate. Yeah, but somebody, you guys, I feel like, yeah, guardian angel. I was just about to say it. Yeah, guardian angel and Leo. I feel like you guys are protected, but there's an energy here that's trying to like. It's so sad. I don't think this person know. And if they, maybe you mentioned it to them. Some you could have mentioned to this person like whoever the third party is gonna be trying to attack this light worker, trying to attack you. Somebody's gonna get they behind whipped. Guardian Angel, Leo, Jupiter, Gemini. I just had a full moon in Gemini, right? So if the Gemini is gonna have a sex addiction and be going through a storm at this time. Okay, try to play games when it comes to your intuition, how they truly feel. This person can be going through a dark night of the soul, king of cups. Okay, they could be experiencing, yeah, a side piece of Saturn. This person could be receiving some type of karma for some type of side piece. Somebody who they hooked up with, had a fling with, should have just been a fling, gotten pregnant, or whatever. Somebody dealing with karma. Mm -hmm. You got two people with your energy, Okay. I'm picking it up heavily. Yeah, but with this Jupiter, good fortune, and guardian angel expansion, something is beautiful about to happen for you. Mm -hmm. You and this person with this relocate, they keep coming out. You and this person are going to be, <laughs> maybe need to move. Yeah, second chance and integrity. So I said this relationship deserves a second chance of this situation align with your values and morals. So spirit is saying, whoever this person is, does this situation align with your values and morals? Because I told you, it's two people in your energy. It's somebody who know that they messed up big time and they have so much regret and they want to come back around and spin the block, okay? For others of you guys, spirit is saying you have choices. You have, a, if this was a twin flame, that did you have a soulmate that's coming in? For others of you guys, you're actually meeting your twin flame who you're going to build a legacy with, okay? Yes, this person could be watching you online. New love, okay. Here and now, your true love is already a part of your life. Um, lean on your inner circle during this time. Somebody wants you to be able to count on them. Somebody wants you to see them as dependable. Something um is faded, but you guys are just on two different pages. 
And with patience being here, everything is unfolded in the divine time. And somebody wants your forgiveness. Yeah, obsession, stability. This relationship can stand the test of time. Longer for you and leap of faith. Yeah, somebody regrets not taking some type of leap of faith with you. Yeah, they had their boundaries up with you and they was guarded towards you because of a third party, somebody who they shared children with. This person is needing to heal. It's, it's giving me an energy of somebody who's manifesting somebody, but you're manifesting something that you're not ready for. Before you manifest, make sure you're ready for that. Like, somebody is causing pain, unnecessary pain, you know? It's not fair. And I don't feel like you want any drama. True love, mastery. You learned the spiritual lesson. Hey, this is a destined partnership. I feel like whoever your person is, they see you as their true love and they learn some lesson about whoever this third party is. Okay? I feel like you're free from all the pain. Like you, you got a you got a new beginning. Somebody who was a player wants a second chance. But spirit is saying this rejection is actually divine protection. Regret. Someone feels regret for the way they treated you because they did not take a leap of faith and they are longing for you with this time apart that you guys are um, away from each other. Marriage. This relationship is moving towards a sacred union. Somebody is wishing that they would have married you. Okay, somebody is wishing that they would have given you some type of commitment. Somebody could be hearing about that you're married and you're moved on and they're in regret. Okay, but you have a true love that's coming in. Awakening and interference and apology. Yeah, whoever this person is that's going through a spiritual lesson, you, you, they're going through awakening. And they want to apologize because they realize that this third party what they was up to the whole time to cause some type of separation. This person needed to heal. And I feel like you're at a place in your life now where you don't have no drama. You know, things are peaceful, things are light. You know, but your energy, your energy is like unmatched, unforgettable. You can't, you cannot forget your energy. You have two people in your energy. One that's going through karma and then one I feel like that's that is healing and working on themselves just as like just like you. And I feel like that's the person you're gonna be with. Somebody realizes somebody was a karmic. It was only in their life to teach them, teach them a lesson. And it triggered something in them that they needed to awaken it within themselves. That was nothing more. That season was just for a season, that was it. Somebody was trying to prolong something with somebody who been expired. I'm, I'm getting that spirit kept giving someone grace, sparing them time, you know, being protected from this energy. And then somebody eventually wake up. The sun card, two of swords, the star card, the ten of pentacles, damn. Ten of pentacles, the star, it's like... <laughs> I don't think you've seen none of this. I don't think you've seen none of this. It's like your hope, you know, um, the star is hope, healing, inspiration, faith. The sun card. It's giving me that somebody didn't want, to, want you to, to make it out or see a way out. But what you don't see is that you're about to be happy, full of joy, being able to celebrate. Like your inner child is going to be like jumping for joy. Something is over. There was a betrayal. And you were being safe and divinely guided away from this the whole entire time. Ten of swords to the ten of pentacles. Yeah, something was fated to happen. The will of fortune. It's giving me uh, energy of the spirit was just like, I'm going to blind the eyes of these people. I don't want them to see your word. Because I, 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 God knows what people are going to do way before they even do it, sunsees. 
You are walking karma, okay? You are here to bring people good karma or bad karma. You know, it depends on, you know, what, what, what timeline they're on in their life. You know, they're the upright or inverse, whatever how you go, okay? People know what they be out here doing to people, okay? You want to see somebody karma, look at their fruits, okay? But we let nobody out here tell you to eat a goddamn thing. But, um... I just feel like spirit was like, you know what? This person, you was, you know, you was sweet, you was generous, you, you know, you was helpful to this person, you helped heal this person, you taught this person a lot. Um, this person, you know, I feel like what you have in that old soul is like they don't make them like you no more. <laughs> okay, they don't make them like you.